All right, welcome. Sorry, I uh, fucked up my intro. <laughs> All right, what's up, guys? Oh my god, Twinny has a new knife. Uh, let's get excited about something else. The start for it. Um, it's just a random game. These guys uh, decided to have fun and just play. What is a larger or greater honor than just people having a gay old time on your creation? That's what we all want as map makers for people to enjoy what we make. Very typical uh, pistol round for Jay. I wish for Valve to update the spectating tools so that we can actually have player numbers that correspond to their actual numbers. I kind of missed the action of uh, the first pistol round here. Bomb is dropped in B main. Servity and Sarim are pushing in. To retrieve it, there's 52 seconds left of the clock. Jay has lost the control of the bomb. Doesn't believe that Silverdy holds it, but Jay is the master of flanking. So we'll see him succeed in that. He will spot Silverdy, but Silverdy is way quicker with a crispier aim. Silverdy is one of those players that can really, like, if he has a good day, he's going to absolutely win, you know. He's going to own. And it's kind of hard, like, when we when we do these playlists, for you guys who don't, who are not in, in Map Inc. or, like, don't follow the playlisting scene that much, um, you know. When, when we play this, these maps, we obviously have to balance the team so that we would have most data when it comes to playtests, like how the map works in a, in a balanced, fairly balanced uh, situation. So, you know, we try to balance the teams so that it's also nice and fair for everyone. But players are so, like, inconsistent that balancing, first of all, is a, is a fucking impossibility. And, uh, yeah, we do our best anyway. Second round, expectedly, going to the terrorists who got also the first round. Broken is also kind of a wild card. I expect great things from Sarim and Jinx. Look at how that MAC-10 landed. Yo! Yeah. Uh, this is still the same version that we played this did, um, a couple weeks ago. I need to get to making those small adjustments to the level. Actually, do you guys like a far off view model like this? That was actually already. The majors, like PGL uses a view model like this pretty much. Pretty sure. The terrorists have gotten the short area. So everybody's right there to trade uh, Hexic. But Hexic died in vain as Twinny has already retreated back to the A-bomb site. MP9 on his hand. Two flashes. Jinx catches a very far off angle. But gets ultimately flanked by Jay. As we all know, Jay is the master of flanking. Two T's coming up. CT. Nice upper and lower take. Very well shot by Broken. Jay's up here. These don't necessarily have the information that he, he's up there. Broken and Sarm. Trying to create some space here so that they can actually make their decision which way they want to get to the bomb. As yeah, so with that XM. Nice. That wooden board that I added actually comes in clutch for Broken as he get, gets the, uh, the wall bang there. And J. MP7. This MP7, surprisingly, is kind of an expensive one. It's uh, from Hydra Collection, I think. You know, Operation Case and whatnot. All right. Guys, what are you drinking? I'm drinking water. It's just straight water right now. Leave the comments. I bet all the British people are going to be like, oh, tea, of course. As they usually are. Is that you holding a great angle here? Let's see if he has the balls to push over the wall. Here's the player on the other side. Broken did not retaliate at all. Hexic crosses with the bomb. Sarim holding a very close angle. Hexic gets killed, but Sarim pushes in. <laughs> he runs out of bullets. But that Glock comes in the clutch. Jay again on the flank. 
might catch Silverdy off guard. Sorry, I'm trying to plant where it's not possible. <laughs> Jay didn't spot Silverdy in the pit. That was a good flank, but goddamn Jay. And um, the map knowledge. I think this is the first time of, uh, of Siren playing this def definite version. You know, is this ledge marked on orange? No. Can you plant on it? No. Well, they want that anyway. I don't think anyone's going to get mad over that necessarily. CT team consists of J, Zadri20, Akande, and Eose. Look at Eose's combo. So the lead conduit goes kind of well. <clears throat> He's have gotten the short area. Zadri is going to be flanking, getting a kill on Hexic. He got the pretty much the worst player out of the bunch, so it's not that useful. Sorry, Hexic. I know you're gonna be you're gonna be watching this video later on, so <clears> these <throat> are very careful right now. Uh, this is actually like structurally. This map is so funny, like. You're, you know, you're on the other side of this wall, and then it's just like, you know, it takes quite a, quite a, it's quite an, an adventure getting from up here down to lower mid and to B, but it's it's fun. Last terrorist Zadri is, I mean, excuse me, counter terrorist Zadri is still lurking around. Wants the deagle on twenty. Should I raise up my? In-game audio. I feel like point eight might be a little bit better. I think if Zadri, yeah, he's gonna save that AK. There's a little do people know, but you can actually almost completely hide on the on this ledge. I uh, made it intentionally, like go a little, little bit in like that, but you know. But Zadri is far enough away. I think he's not going to be taking any damage from the bomb. He hears Jinx. And Jamie's just going to get that kill. Yeah, too bad. Sorry, thanks for the feedback. Liking the map, Olaf. Flow seems better than the last one I played a while ago. Okay. X equals carry goat. Oh, yeah. There's something I have to do something about this barrel here. It's, uh, it's a little bit too hard of a of a jump. Actually, let's move the view model a little bit. It's like one and then y minus one, perhaps. The double angle from Eos and. Uh, was it was that twenty? Worked kind of well. Didn't really pan, pan out too much. Last CT player alive, Jay, coming up on the flank again. Finds an M4, but I don't think he's gonna go for that. And broken finishes him off. So far, well played from from T's. They're getting mid quite a lot, and they have the uh, the opportunity to. You know, do pretty much what they want with the map. Um, also, nice B pressure on many of those takes. I've seen that um, A bomb set doesn't necessarily get that much play uh, early early round, as it kind of promotes like you can get this area quite easily as the T. Um, but yeah, definitely from this side, taking mid. Oh my God, Jinx. Nice take, and he's utilizing that rail to like get over the angle. Look at that. Yeah, you can walk on this rail. Broken just froze. <laughs> you picked the teams. Um, yeah, Jamie's just having kind of a kind of a epic epic game. Kande with that Famas finds almost a kill. He also has two players to finish off. Doesn't quite pull through. Better luck next time. Sorry if you heard the dog in the background. That's Bobby.
Round number eight. One to six. Nice pick from, pick from Jinx. So I, I would probably... I should... Oh my god. I should probably spec him more. Pantacle on Jay. Never mind. Jay is left on 10 HP. Nice trade by Broken. Pushing down the CT. Quinny holding an angle. I'm very glad that he got that kill. Holding down CT. This killer angle. It's just, I, I love this angle so much. It's actually bringing like uh, kind of nostalgia from the last version. Kind of reminiscent of that version as well. But it's definitely just like laid up in a different way. And a uh, nice crossfire from the CT team there. Very well played. Well done. Round number nine. Seems to be kind of an eight take. Player number seven. I cannot switch to Sarim here. Sarim has pushed out into the A yard. Bomb stuck around T spawn. I am very glad if players find this area interesting to play. Sarim got the entry kill and now he's rotating away. The rest of the team doesn't probably quite understand what's happening. I guess Sadri, I mean, Sarim is just playing it safe and kind of lets the rest of the team figure something out. How did Silver die? I don't know. Did he like jump out of the map or something? 54 seconds as of now. Terrorists don't really have map control, but the B-bomb side is completely wide open. If they get the info somehow that it's an A stack. Yeah, there's no CT presence except in that connector. Now there's a player in, in heaven. Jinx gets absolutely cross-fired. J on 9 HP. Akande 24 HP. That nade is going to be taken, taken down. And if Sarim would just go for a couple of wall banks. Amazing shot on 20. Jay remains alive with 9 HP and Eose gets the last kill. Damn, that was a close round. Very exciting switch from the T's. And um, yeah, that long sideline, like CT should have taken the control of this lower route. Like just stay here, keep watching this, have someone here and then maybe stack, stack like two up here. And then, you know, you can have one B as a as an early alarm system, but that didn't quite happen. I respect that Jay took the silencer off the M4. I like that a lot. So everybody pushing up mid with Akande on the other side. Then they're pushing a smoke with uh, no regard for his own life. Just stomping away. 20 likes playing the CT spawn. I need to make this path a little bit tighter. It's kind of kind of open. Open as of now. Bombs going up the stairs in middle to the, next to the tower. Tweeny is up behind the box, gets flashed. Broken kind of flashes himself. Tweeny gets dealt with and two remaining CTs. One up in CT spawn. One up coming a little bit late. That's AOC. One T on the side. Broken alone on the bomb site. Kind of stuck in the long corner. Corridor and corner just merged into one word. Corridor. Broken very low now. Gets the kill. Wasn't enough from Eosa Spray. Nice round. These guys are really taking uh, taking the game seriously. And it, and it definitely shows. You know, I like watching good competitive Counter-Strike. Kande asks for a drop. Have you seen a craft like that? No, you haven't. Quantum Bellator, enjoy. See Vendi pushing through the smoke. These don't really have that much control, and Sarum is now pushed completely through the middle. Two cities are dead and dealt with. Dead and buried. 
and terrorists have overrun the A-bomb site very soon from upper and lower. Yeah, broken is up CT. Hex is in the corner of the bomb site. There's one short. There's two in the corridor. Jinx is on the red railing part. That's clipped off, Jinx. I am sorry. Twinny and Jay are probably saving guns. There's a good chance for Twinny to get a kill over here. He, he might have actually seen ahead. But he doesn't want to show himself. There's Hexic. Getting killed. Jay getting another kill on mid. Now that would be a very important gun for Jay to go and pick up. But he's going to be... Saving that MP9. Jay's one of these players who just like kind of favors a gun that suits his suits his gameplay or playstyle more, and he's just you know just kind of does with uh, does what he wants. Suit yourself. Hans Miao Maobo. I don't even want... I, I'll never say that again. Jesus. Nice pick from Zadrian to Jinx. Nice flash from Sarian with 3 HP pushing through. That was never gonna happen, man. Some defensive utility. Rather offensive utility. As it gets naded. <laughs> so many util. So many pieces of util getting thrown through those windows. I love it. I love it so much. Mid is too hard to take as T. I said I think it's fine. Real shit. Okay. I think the timing on B is a bit fast for the CTs though. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I'm very interested in hearing what these players... I have to say after a game like this, you know? They take it so seriously and... Uh... What's up, guys? Can you hear me? Oh my god, Olaf. <laughs> so apparently they could hear me on the help time. It's very funny. Let's enjoy Eos' combo for a little bit longer. You don't see these gloves. And that knife combo. It's very nice. Alright. Middle take from T's. A smoke landed in there. Jinx is in the smoke. Behind the smoke. Just holding with the USP. Getting... How many kills is he, is he gonna take? Silverty with the another one. It's 20 down in short against Silverty. The Glock. Excuse me, the P250. Pulls through. Jesus Christ, Jinx. That would be an ample opportunity for 20 just to drop down and run to B, but he doesn't know that. 1000 IQ smoke. Yeah, Twinny's trying to uh, trying to find find one versus one fights, and Hexic is pushing up that bridge, so that that actually might be one of those. Now Twinny, now is your chance. Two versus one, not gonna happen. T Star pursuing him, but not for long. Twinny has vanished. He's careful. He might hear one of them in the middle. Here's Hexic. Hexic just runs past mid. He tries to kill him off so that he doesn't have to deal with him later. Nice pick from Twinny. Now B lines to the A bomb site. He might be able to catch this plant if he just trusts himself enough. Twinny is one of these like super confident players. He's just. If he wants to, he can win. He can find these one versus one situations. Now against Serum. Sarum's going to gamble. Sarum's not going to gamble and playing it super safe. Twinny's not going to gamble either. Make sure that if Sarum saw him pass, he gets the better position. And there, just look at look how crisp that shot was. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> no way we lost this. Loot Goblins player right, left round. Yeah. 
There was a uh, Twinny was playing in the uh, in the European RMRs uh, in the team called Loot Goblins, and they they got fucking thirteen owned owed on overpass against. Don't even remember the the team name, but yeah, they got bodied. But it was a it was a fun game, and you know, that's just uh, gives you a little bit of a of an awakening if you think that like pro CS is easy. No, it's like fucking this guy's it's just insane. You know, you would have to do this every round and better. Yeah. Hexic is having a Carrigan game. Twinny has been activated like an almond. In that kill in the Charium, that's gonna feel good. Charium is gonna hurt tomorrow. It's already behind that tarp to box and gets dealt with. You know, when you see Twinny's aim just like kind of lock in like this, he's locked in. He's so entertaining to watch. And it's just like kind of pouncing on, on some noobs. Add edge trim on heavens. The what now? Edge trim. Oh yeah, probably, he more, probably means like uh, on the side of like stone walls or whatever. Nice prey from Twinny. I'm just going to like spec him for the rest of the game, I guess. <laughs> so, you know so much so much action happens around him broken tucked away jinx has taken the middle the rest of two terrorists are now pushing in the b-bomb side starting to take some bombsite control he's so sure that there's a ct here and he's onto something this one in each heaven jinx get that Gets that kill on the J, and so everybody just peeks from an awful corner. You can't win them all. Post Netherlands type shit. All right. Round 16 commencing. Sorry, likes to play this long area. Just kind of abusing this timing here. I wouldn't say that abusing, just using it for a very high capacity. Nice spray from, from Sarim. I mean, from 20 to 2 Sarim. I knew that that was gonna, gonna happen. Everybody is alone on the bomb site. Gets figured out. Now it's only down to him to die. Very quick death. How do you adjust for my B hop? A knife was dropped. You can't remember it on the ground. No one want. Nobody wanted it. I feel bad. Kande taking middle. That flash was immaculate, but Jinx. Yeah, Ben just missed every single bullet there. He's are pushing through the smoke. Into the smoke. Gee, he's planting. Jinx is a uh, master of the audiovisual arts. He's watching the flank. Eosa is helping to do the deed. He's holding an angle for any CT aggression. And I think the CTs are starting to get suspicious that there's some terrorist control or terrorist activity on the um, on the A-bomb side of the, of the map or the A side of the map. They don't necessarily have a full A control. That That's why it's so important for the CTs to actually like push push up to here if, uh, if possible so that you can... Um, get sure that the T's are not necessarily, you know, rotating back. The T's have a lot of time to work with. 42 seconds, that's the first kill. Sorry, I'm on the bomb side, gets dealt with, gets very... It's kind of kind of frisky with that kill, you know? Bomb is inside the smoke. Twin is probably yelling at Elset right now to pick up the bomb. He has time to rotate through, eh? 
Broken has the better angle and yeah, we get still big. Yeah, interesting round. Very interesting round. The T's took a lot of space. CTs gave up a lot of space, but they just had the better rotation. They kind of, kind of sniffed them out. I want to see more aggressive CT plays. It's going to be an A take. Hexic. What's up, Hexic? Going to get flashed. Jumps out. Holding an angle. Kande's going to get dealt with. Jay has the right idea. Oh, he hit him so much. Tuni using this angle. Broken's going to get almost netted. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm on the A-bomb side alone. T's are wrapping around A-bomb side now. Eos is indoors. Two players upper. Just wall bang it. Nice. And Sarim. Alone with an MP9. Full Kevlar, Molly, Flash. And a hell of a lot of skill. He might have this. I don't think 20 is going to let it happen though. Holding the sneakiest angle ever. So I'm just paranoid for a pick from flank. Is a decoy. Uh, two players behind that wall. Nice flash. Good utility usage. Jay's trapped in that corner, but 10 seconds to kill three players, and that just doesn't pull through. Valiant effort from... Yeah, that's just bad mannering. We don't want to see that. Yeah, valiant effort from Sherim. Good to get some T rounds in, right? But yeah, next version, <clears throat> for sure, I'm going to make some areas tighter. It's going to make some areas as well, kind of a little bit smaller. For example, that A, A house. CTs are resorting in some sort of a, some sort of an eco buy. Cable art. Little five seven on Sarim. Excuse me for the yawn. Need to go to sleep today earlier than yesterday. All of the terrorists are equipped with AK 47s. Broken getting flanked from Elsa. Jinx with a Deagle, Server CZ and Sarim. Oh, Jinx got boosted into this corner. This is a cool, cool angle. I want to see it in action. Kind of bouncing around. It's dealt with. Bomb is on B side, so that's another Harris round for sure. But it also fumbled a very easy frag over there, so might be worthwhile saving this AK. Let's see if we can get another one. Sorry, has found himself an M4, so it's already pretty good. J and Sorry, I'm going parallel next to each other. None the wiser that they have just missed each other. Good news for Sarim. Bad news for Jay. Sorry, I might find Jay here. Sorry, sorry, I might find Tweeny here if he wants to risk the M4. They have no idea how close they are to each other. Damn, that was a miracle that Sarim blasted through that. Very exciting. Ten to nine, CTs are in the lead. These have gotten some momentum. Definitely, and they keep winning these rounds. Nice work, Molly from the T side. Utilizing the eight window setup. Is that a CT Molly? pushing out with the bomb these are building up some control over this lower area i gotta make this path a little bit simpler oh my god somehow silverty taps 20 down to, to 80, 18 hp uh, 18 hp 82 damage done but how about the um the players are positioned around the level 20 just knows that there's not going to be any cities on the bomb side when 
years they were the other guy in CT, so, you know. And he probably got the, uh, the info that there was player in B. Now he knows where both of them are. Here's Charm drop. It's mullied off. Eight, only 18 HP, so if they play this right, they might get him. Broken gets dealt with Charm 18 HP as well. Excuse me, 19. Tweety gets dinked through the wall, gets baited, and gets the headshot. Oh my god. That's some high-level juking over there. That was ve very well played from Twinny. One HP clutch. Well, kind of. You can hold all the way T entrance. Yes. Yes, you can. As a map maker, it's very fun to see that dynamic kind of work. You know? I find pride in what I do. The player broken in the smoke in mid might be able to. I was just about to spec Eose. Kills broken. Very brutal scene. Look at this. Oh my god. That's a creeping up. Jinx is in the corner. Oh, he's just not fast enough to kill the bomb planter but that is Zadri and now the heartbreak of ages Akande spots Sarim takes him out but Akande just gets the kill that was deserved for the terrorist that would have felt so bad if the T's fumbled that there we go getting the perfect PGL view model. You can judge it by the um, how the orb, like you know, the back stock doesn't really show the uh, the rounded detail. Oh, Jesus, getting so tired. Excuse me. Yeah, this looks looks proper. Zadri with the orb in hand. Jinx holding this angle again. Yeah, you have to be very careful here not to fall off. And I have a feeling that Jinx is going to be. Kind of overzealous with that. Bomb's gonna get dropped in middle. Tweeny and J split up between T and CT spawn. What a position from Sarim. Nice effort from J getting a kill and a health. Quite exactly, actually. Drops broken down to 29 HP. 2 M4s, 1 AK. Tweeny. I've seen him win these. Not even a joke. Yeah. We have a player dropping from the server apparently. I'm not gonna be hopping into play. I am sorry, I'm spectating this. Yeah, thus far, very interesting game. Good utilizing of these windows. The, th the players just are not, you know, necessarily, um, you know, not necessarily wired to check these positions. But you can you can clear that by wide swinging from here. Like you, you should always send a player to wide swing this line. Just like go like, pop. You can't play inside of this, but you're so exposed. Like you can be cleared from here like this, you know. Um, Next version is going to have the textured uh, flag, of course. I'm going to be doing some more detailing. So if I can finish all the brick buildings, or like half of them, in like a good weekend or something, or something, I will be so happy. It's like structure, structure-wise. Or the, um, the surrounding space. Like if I can tie this to a location, you know, it's going to be good effort. Okay, and that's the game. Okay, 11-11. I guess we played a little bit of a shorter shorter game. Uh, Sarim had to eat anyway, so players keep continuing. But yeah, I think I think that's it. Yeah, good game. That was a uh, that was a very good game. 
let's uh you know players had to leave and you know can't be fucked with uh with filling in anymore so yeah that was great effort <laughs> kande rubbing some salt into the wounds we won <laughs> two players forfeit anyway thanks for watching i uh next time i definitely want to offer a full game possibly two but yeah it, it's so lovely that players just randomly boot up a game and uh you know want to finish finish what they started all right thank you for watching take care see ya